is the leash. <laughs> Game. Play. I should speak up. A weary traveler, battered and bruised. You come for sustenance. No, decadence. A mien cool as ice, yet eyes burning hot. Oh yes, I know your bliss. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive. Or have I misjudged you? One of those, are you? Well, there's plenty of room for role play in our establishment. If you have a change of heart and wish to be subdued, it's Fionn you should speak to when she comes back. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. Nisha, our lovely nymph, but she's engaged in the nymph's grotto on the top floor, sweeting. The client's a favourite of hers, too. I doubt we'll be able to tear her away. But we are blessed to have a devil in residence at the moment, a temporary guest. But he asked that I send any potential clients his way. Everyone who's paid a visit looks quite changed by the experience. Indeed he did. Raphael, exceedingly handsome and with a voice that could make the foulest blasphemy seem the sweetest hymn. Swissing, I'm no fortune teller. If I had a crystal ball, I'd promise I'd already have consulted it. Truth is, Fionn's gone well missing. And my hands may be skillful, but they were not made to turn every last stone she might be hiding behind. much as you like. Thank you. 
thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it, and you never will. The Kithrak? What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael, for the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, Kalak Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. I trust you'll be on better behavior than when we last met. There's precious little time remaining for your mischief. One more thing before we begin, though. First time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. <laughs> Wouldn't that be exquisite? But no, I'm afraid the tadpole is still there. But I did shut out your other visitor for a while. So we can enjoy some privacy. The Illithid can't hear us. Oh, Khan, it's the reason you're in this predicament. And I'm your only way out of it. Indulge me, and at least hear me out. I'll admit, you've impressed me. What now? By my oath. No one stopped me yet.
very perceptive. Yes. I can give you the means to break him free. Speak, devil. We're listening. To Elithids, yes. He would gladly execute the Emperor. But to you, he will be a friend. After all, you're at war with an Elder Brain. No. Orpheus is the only reason you're still alive. The Emperor is abusing the gift for its own ends. And it's doing the same to you. You're nothing more than the beast of burden that will transport it to the Elder Brain. An ox requires food, and the occasional beating to keep it moving. You are simpler. The Emperor's words serve as both carrot and stick. Perhaps it is true that Orpheus would ally with you against the Elder Brain. But if he proves uncooperative once free, you may have to kill him. The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my house of hope, even now. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. Power. You free Orpheus, and in doing so, save the city, the Sword Coast, perhaps the whole world, and your own precious skin, too. And you give me the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. And you, Lazel of Kalir, want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want nothing more. Then... It is settled, is it not? A crown for a hammer. A bargain of a lifetime, Lazel of Kilir. Better to have it in my hands, and far from your precious world, than in the hands of the gods and monsters that fight over this city's soul. Power. Ancient and full of wonder. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Cassus created it long centuries ago and brought doom to the empire of netheril that was the great age of humanity and netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization i was there the day it all fell apart entire cities plummeted from the sky like angels with broken wings the screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting. And Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world, and the perils 
of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils, and that I could use that crown to unite the Nine under one Archdevil Supreme, me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, you were serious? The crown has laid low all who attempt to harness its power. Archwizards, emperors, gods. It would tear you apart. I am no mortal! And I do not fail. The Archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged, but only for a decade or so. Then I waited, ever watching for more than a thousand years, for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the Hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Skvar! We should do as the Devil asks. The Prince of the Comet must rise again. Right here. You'll find everything is in order. The moment I have your signature, you will have the means to free Orpheus. The hammer. You guarantee the crown will be mine once the brain is defeated. And I swear that I will never use the crown to dominate a mortal. I will come to collect. If you refuse to give me the crown, I collect your souls instead. And then we all gather in the House of Hope. Me dressed in my finest silks. You, skinless, hanging from a hook to watch as your world dies.
Perfect. One more ride for old time's sake. The master was slain within his own house. They dined on him both, the cat and the mouse. The hammer is yours. You will find yourself in Orpheus's presence before the end comes. When you do, shatter the chains that hold him. Be sure to keep the hammer safe. Until then, your survival depends on it. And I'll keep your contract safe in my house of hope. I'll be seeing you. And when I do, we dine. The ink has barely dried, yet you feel a growing disquiet at what exactly you've just signed. Perhaps a Diabolus can offer some comfort. Or a way out. For a devil's bargain is a hard one to break. Our enemies still draw breath. Eager for battle. What's next? Assume nothing. Sooner have imagined shattering a planet with my bare fist than taking a deal with a devil. But we shouldn't regret the bargain, not for one instant. Raphael can have his crown, if it means breaking Prince Orpheus free. You're right to question. Devils are slippery creatures. They twist their tongues into knots to convince you a rock pile was mithril. But a broker is as bound by his contract as his buyer. The hammer must be real, or Raphael could never have the crown. Now, to the Charesse's caress tap room. We must tell Voss the news. Never wanted the easy path. There you are. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Raphael? Well, thank you for your honesty. Of course, I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what? Did he want with you? Giving a devil what he wants sounds like a brilliant idea. And what did he offer you in return for bringing it to him? certain of, it's that the devil will come to collect. But that is your problem. I will not let you put our survival at risk. I have Orpheus well under control. Stay away from him. Now come. We have an elder brain to destroy.
Raphael of this. I want to hear all about it. What's up for discussion? It's a dwarf you crave, whip in hand. Go on, tell me I'm wrong. Your eyes tell a story, sweeting. You crave more than pleasure. You crave penance. It's Fion you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink, for one. A pe... New guy. Friend to the comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. <laughs> so quick to share it with him. This is not wise. The prince of the comet is not dead. The prince of the comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from the Lich Queen's tyranny. Can it be? Will the mighty Prince Orpheus soon illuminate the astral plane? Gith's son will soon ride against Vlakith, Voss. And I will follow him into battle. And you will wield the greatest gift Mother Gith ever granted her dauntless children. A silver sword. I will carry it for the honor of Gith. The great liberator and her unforgotten son. Istik, now that you have the hammer, you must find a way to enter the astral prism. Once inside, smash Orpheus's bonds. His cry will shake the planes, and I will fly to your aid. The prince of the comet will sear the heavens again. Let the Lich Queen tremble. Think again. I will not permit your entry. not questions istic you seem to be lost in thought the prince of the comet aches for gith yankee liberation more than he abhors gaich he might seethe when you free him he might gnash his teeth and slander your name but he will see reason i promise you Yes, but you will meet this challenge, as you've met so many others.
there is work to do. Flackets will be done. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Since I was old enough to hold a blade, I've dreamt of wielding a silver sword. The swords cleave both meat and mind, body and brain. To swing one, mesmerizing. To be slain by one, agonizing. Everyone I bleed with the sword will be my tribute to Prince Orpheus. Kithrak's silver sword is more than a weapon. It is an extension of your will, an entire limb unto itself. You merely need to think strike, and it strikes. The sword carves the correct path and carries your arm with it. The ancient slates tell us that each sword holds a fragment of the living gate, a flesh portal made from the stuffs of nightmare. The silver injures the body. The gate's flesh injures the mind. A formidable weapon against Gaeth. <laughs> Certainly not, or the Prince's honor guard would have already fractured his prison. To break Orpheus free, we will need the Orphic Hammer. Jantalon's dancing axe. A half a safe house Jahira mentioned. How else was I supposed to see the rock thing? We can't return there. Welcome to Danthilon's Dancing Axe. Our stock isn't used. It's tried and tested by the finest adventurers. Greetings, sir. Your noble bearing brings a little class to my humble establishment. How may I be of service? Harpers, 
I am afraid I serve a grubbier class of clientele than that. More chancers than champions, if you take my meaning. Present company excluded, I'm sure. No, I don't know any, uh, Jahira, was it? Lothras, I know the taste all too well. You too, I'd wager. Fine, yes. You have the right place. But where's the leaf flicker herself? She wouldn't have revealed this place otherwise, which makes you one of the rare breed she does trust. Here's the key. The others are below, and... Bearing bad news by the looks of it. Always.
Short father, bless you. Right, Sonny. You're on the door till our friend. It's you. Well, knowing Enthal, it was already broken. Greet the high harper beneath Salona's tears. You have the lad a little nervous. You're the one that toppled Ketherick out in the Shadowlands, no?
what path lies before me. Thank, thank you. A Harper code. Meant to be used for doppelgangers. Imposters. Things like them. You're... Right. Uh, equal to the High Harper. Uh, you can give her my report, then. The others... They're all dead. Or scattered. Did you hear a said word of the victory over Ketherich? Set us hunting after the cultists in the city, but they were the ones hunting us. Things were quiet. Until we started to ask about the Rashomar. I... The High Harper didn't tell you. Uh, perhaps it's not my place. Just... Tell her this. I can't continue the hunt. Whatever the cult has done with the Rashimar, they do not want him found. No traps, please. Um, hi. It's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? You were really nice to me before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? <sighs> Isn't there a human crest she can join? You don't? But, um, but... <sighs> All right, I'll go. But you'll see! You should have said yes! You'll wish you said yes! So Val's Chosen is a doppelganger. <sighs> I should not be surprised. They have ever been among his favorite servants. Orin is testing you. Either she thinks herself a predator, playing with her food. Or she fears what you might do. She spoke to you in a rather... familiar fashion. More shapeshifter mind games, I suppose. Ah, this all begins to ring a little too familiar for my liking. Hmm. The last time I fought doppelgangers, the Valspawn Saravok was using them to subvert the city government. 
aid his rise to power. But Orin is more predator than politician, I think. She simply wants to make us feel hunted, isolated. Tell the Lordling that Orin is watching. It seems that Gortash and Orin have had a little falling out. We should leverage that. You think me lonely? <laughs> in truth, I prefer travel in a small pack such as this. Unburdened by numbers, we're free to act rather than react. A little like the old days. With allies, every bit as peculiar. Give or take a few tadpoles. Maybe my hearing is not what it was. Would you like to repeat that? <laughs> Orin knows the hunt. In one stroke, she places the Harpers beyond our reach, separates us from our pack. Until we know who the False Facers are, we cannot trust anyone beyond ourselves. A shame of mine. Redoubled because I did not tell you everything sooner. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Mince of Rashomon? Your ruined brain lurches and bilious intestines squirm. A hero, an enemy most foul. Whatever blow to the head has addled your thoughts, they comfort. You and Minsk have that in common. Minsk is an old friend. Perhaps my oldest. We've fought at one another's backs times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. As it happens, everything. He was with me the night I first heard that name. Connected to some cult gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there. Cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Minsk charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun. Dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us. Or leave him. And live to fight another day. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes... You get to take it back. So don't be sorry. Because I mean to use you. If you will. Infection. Indoctrination. Eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. You need not preach the cause to me. I've already told you what I sacrificed in its name, but only a fool would discard a potential ally like Minsk. He has faced God and Illithid both, just as I have. Oh, the point is moot without the means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. I have a better idea of what that is once we're through the gates. Seems I need to reacquaint myself with this damned city.
Let's see. Queen Vlakis. Scrum! You are a Sherlock. And still, you speak my name. I've seen the captive Orpheus with my own eyes. Spoken to Shestil Kithrak Voss. You lied to us. Enslaved us. The betrayer Voss lies! I have only a moment, and you, a Sherlock, will listen. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains. The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlakith's rule. Return to the Astral Prism. Slay Orpheus the Pretender. Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Barter Vlakith, Commander of Dragons. My only, my chosen. A final chance. Kneel before me. Make your promise. Those our thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlacket. It is done. There is no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the Astral Sea. Never to cross the One in the Void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? Then 
and the feeling will fade like Vlacket's craven projection. I am her child no more. I have been born in you in Gith's son, my savior. And so from the old battle cries is birthed another. Shmar Salah Orpheus. Orpheus's freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to deny my own. There will come a time when I can think about myself beyond the Lich Queen who enslaves the Gith Yankee and the Prince who would liberate them. But that time won't come until the Prince of the Comet flies again. Orpheus free from his chains at our first chance. Orpheus tough Kinarzin. We get along quite well, I think. If our traveling companions continue to make poor choices, we will soon have every god in this plane and the next hunting us. Lazelle risks everything with her childish rebellion. I do not want a devil to hold my fate in his hands any more than a god. I say we put the devil from our minds and trust in ourselves. If anyone should have the power of the crown, it should be us. Nervous? Don't be preposterous. I am on alert, as you should be too, given who hunts us. I have faced Orin before, and she left scars on me that will never heal. She will enjoy adding to them, and she can strike whenever she pleases. She could be anywhere. Could be anyone. Despite her protestations to the contrary, it is clear that Minthara is afraid. is murder incarnate and she is a devoted daughter to please Baal she would butcher the world she has the scent of our blood and she will tease and toy until she tires of the hunt then she will obliterate us without a second thought we need to watch over each other now more than ever then speak very well a disparate collection of vagabonds and strays did you have anyone particular in mind
from the still dark waters of Lake Donegarten to the black academies of Deerbresh. It is a city of wonders and terror. But it is not my home anymore. If I were to return, I would be denied all of its wonders and shown only the terror. I am a daughter of Menza Baranzan's most ancient and powerful house, the Bainray. I lived a life of privilege and danger. My home was at the tallest point of Kuel Arzol, the place of the nobles, a plateau high above the city's sprawl. I enjoyed every luxury, whether harvested in the underdark or stolen from the surface, and I survived my first assassination attempt while I still suckled at my mother's breast. I tasted her blood that day. She covered my body with her own, and a blade bit deep into her chest, almost puncturing her heart. When I came of age, she tried to take my life herself, and I gave her fresh scars to match those she earned protecting me. She taught me to be resilient and to guard my heart from those who cannot be trusted, literally and figuratively. When I choose to let somebody close, I do not do so lightly. That gives a great depth of meaning to the bonds I do share. Since you killed Ketherick and took his netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been... brittle. It's rebelling against Orin and Gortash. Fiercely. I suspected that when we took Ketherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. I do not know what happens now, when it receives their orders. And I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An Elder Brain enslaved is one thing. An Elder Brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while. Now that you are here, your company isn't unwelcome. Trying to guard us. The brain is restless, but I am distracted, and my lack of focus is endangering us. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing, no one else. Indeed, Duke Stelmane, or as I knew her, Melin, when she was alive. You thought you were my first ally, 
Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with you. In life, she was my business partner. Back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a Mind Flayer. Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I conceived the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. Astute as ever. You think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. Berlin thought the same at first. You are wrong. Feeling is vital to the pursuit of anyone's goals, even a Mind Flayers. Like you, Mind Flayers no fear. Like you, we crave recognition. But unlike you, unlike the others of my kind, I am no slave to either. My end is and always has been freedom. Berlin understood this. Berlin became my freedom. Apology accepted. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus.
Sorry, chum, can't let you through. Worms Rock's closed for the day. Special occasion. Worms Rock is closed. Invited guests only. Ordination is what? Lord Gortash is becoming Archduke. All the peers came to pay regards. Tash has got all the protection he needs. A cultist makes so much as a peep, the watch will turn them to cinder. try but no Gortash is to be proclaimed Archduke his grip on the city tightens this complicates matters he has surrounded himself with a circle of steel within the fortress of Worms Rock gaining access will not be easy we must either earn an invitation, or find a route where we can pass unnoticed. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. hiding here.
no time to waste. There can be no respite. I'll take this way. toward fate. I wonder what the next move is. <clears throat> Let's try this way. <laughs> naughty, naughty, naughty little master. You have disobeyed your father's wishes one time too many. For he who fights with monsters should look to it that he himself becomes a monster. When you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. Another will embrace what you have rejected, and that other will be your death. But your father loves you dearly. You never hurt yourself yet. Slaughter your line. Become the last of your name. Lord Baal shall have but one chosen. Memories flood back, snatches of your story written in the blood of a thousand victims. Years spent in worship of Baal, leading his savage congregation in prayer, sacrifice, and slaughter. You were their master, and he was yours. A cruel master, a dreadlord, a devoted father. <laughs> <laughs> 
All is as you feared. You are a spawn of Baal. His heir. His scion. You are not the last of your name. Not yet. There is another. The abomination wrapped in flesh you saw in the colony. Oren, it's time for a family reunion. But be wary of your confessors. Your friend turned to foe, knowing what you are. That might be worth a look. What do we have here? Go this way. I've got a long road ahead. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Who's next? If you insist. All right. What now? Prison guard has spotted you. It's either lie or fight. Somehow the guard buys your excuse. You're free to roam Worms Rock Prison.
Those metal beasts with four legs now, instead of two. Two more legs for Smasher. My faith will guide me. Awaiting orders. Hmm. Let's get this lock to yield. The guard caught you picking a lock. Perhaps you'd like to try the lock of your very own cell. It may have been unwise to reveal just how much gold you have on your person. Ready for battle. Go. This is worth the cost. What path lies before me? to waste.
I'm teaching the game a better and better than No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without.
step. Here we go. You might as well lock the cell. You're too late. It's over. I didn't give up. I lost. I came seeking allies to our cause. Watchers spotted me, dragged me to Alder Ravenguard's husk, empty as a stair, a tadpole's puppet, nothing more. These spoken accusations, apostasy, conspiracy, sedition, I'll be executed in five dawns. You might have unlocked my cell, but there's no escape from this place. credit. I'm drowning in tears, and you hold out a fist. Alder would have done the same. When the people need a miracle, he said, you cannot wait for the gods to answer. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten. No more sulking. I know what to do. Lead me from my cell. Escort me out of Worm's Rock. I'll seek out my connections. When the city streets shatter, you'll want their blades. Well done. Lead the way. one pestering old men in cages now scram with your sour puss you're disturbing my sitting time
Lord Gortash has been expecting your arrival. Please hold a moment. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place. Confident, dominant, commanding. Greetings, old friend. Orin told me you were on your way here, but I scarcely believed it. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate. Welcome home. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. of that damned prison and for giving me courage when I'd all but run out. I will travel to the upper city, find what allies I can. You won't fight the coming battle alone. As long as the city stands, I will stand with it. This is my promise.
trap. To stick your nose what in the nine bloody hells is going on? Reynash? You've got one breath to explain why you're in here, or you're going straight to the cells. Impossible. Rainash was on duty the whole. That sneaky little git. It was him all along. How's this? You leave now, and I won't arrest you for being in a restricted area. Stand down, villain. In the name of the Steel Watch, aggressive action will not be tolerated in the presence of the patriarchs of this proud city. Correct your tone, citizen. Dearest patriarchs, but a moment. I must greet a most honored guest. Crawling back from his bloody disgrace. It's my favorite assassin. Gods, you're a sight for sore eyes. Orin told me she made a fool of you. And I should have known you wouldn't go down that easy. And she didn't die. The past is lost to you. Let me clear up some mysteries then. We share so much history. You and I initiated this plot. We discussed in depth the failures of our predecessors and how to avoid them. We understood that if we were to unite, no one could stand in the way of the Dead Three. So, unite we did. First we obtained the crown. Then we enslaved the brain. From there, small step to the most successful religious hoax ever perpetrated. It seems so. In Baal's name, you set your bloody daggers to cause panic in the streets, killing in the Absolute's name. You would have carried out that part of the plan had Orin not ruined your hard work. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherine Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. All out of fear of the Absolute. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. It was all going so well, until you vanished. Orin informed us that henceforth she would speak to the Temple of Baal, and act on their behalf. But she... She made a mess of things. Unlike you, she cannot control herself.
Indeed you are. Look at you. Cold-blooded as ever. When Kethrick fell, I feared the worst. That our plans would fail like so many before, because of discord among ourselves. Uh, now you've returned, we can achieve all of our dreams still. You brought Thorm's Netherstone. You know, it takes all three to control the brain. Without Thorns, it's become vexingly willful. The Quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the Crown. I expect it'll start with turning the Sword Coast's infected. You among them. The prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the Grand Design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, we're a bleak prospect. But it's a fate that can be avoided if you and I renew our old partnership. Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. It's not. We will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That would be bad for everyone. Once it is free from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proves treacherous. She wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three Netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorches earth. So I turn to you, the former ruler of the Cult of Bath. Divine oath, sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear for my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorn's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as king. No, more than king. God. We rule as the absent. The urge, the deplorably brutal urge, sickens within you. When you level the world over, that dead world must be yours alone. But first you will rule, then you will ruin. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. He wants what we want. Orin dead, and the Elder Brain subjugated. An alliance would serve us well. affairs. This was our agreement. She came to us as Baal's chosen. We are but servants to our lords. 
Your presence here means your lord sees a purpose for you yet. I tolerate it, Ori. But I liked you. Then let it be writ by the black hand of Bane. I, Lord Enver Gortash, swear I shall do you no harm. We will rise together over Toriel as a roaring sun. Let me demonstrate why you made the right choice. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. Before you do, come and witness, as I make history as the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Then allow me to peek it for you. Your brain twists and stretches under the Watcher's gaze. The pain almost brings you to your knees before fading. You will follow me, and you will show due respect. Distinguished Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word, deed, and decree so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty handed.
Now is the time. They're attacking Alpha One. Now is the time. The U.S. plans to illegally launch a weapon at this facility in French Guiana. Russia will not allow this to happen. 
Work with the other task forces to take the facility. You will have every resource we can provide, but they are limited. And the Americans will try to outlast us. It cannot become a prolonged siege. Strike fast and hard. Transport is waiting.
pushed out of an objective. An objective has come under our control. Steady. Resources at 50%. this. I've seen work. Let's go. Best supplies here. Let's get up.
fucking threat! Troops are moving on Charlie too. Almost all of our responses Finish the operation now. We got this one! position.
Now is the time. We have established a series of secure points in the city of Doha to extract assets that have been taken by the Zad. But we have word that U.S. forces are inbound with the intention to push us out. Defend the sectors and wear the enemy down until they have nothing left in reserve. This battle will be won by making them pay dearly for every inch of the desert. Out. Setting up some cover. Take them back to play! 
Russia is crying foul over a technology shipment trapped in Doha, Qatar. But they're hiding something. They deployed an entire assault force to occupy the region. Push the enemy back and secure the site. They'll try to slow you down. Don't let them. Stay focused, stay aggressive. Transport is waiting. Plan is to advance sector by sector. 
Marking enemy infantry!
Keep your fire! Reinforcements still coming. But we're in half strength. just secured by us. Let's get moving.
Now is the time.
Here we go. meters from you. Friendly on the ground. Grenade going in. position. Ground to ID 70 meters away from my position.
sector is under our control. We control most sectors on the battlefield. to the enemy. Got a ways to go. Let's move. Move to my mark. Let's make this place defensible. defensible. Supplies! We are losing the battle. They own more sector. We're halfway to Continue to fight. Battle sector taken by our troops. up the parameter.
Charlie Sector is in enemy hands. Our enemy controls the battle. They have conquered more. Uh. A tornado is approaching your location. Keep as much distance as you can. Around 40 meters from my position. is in our hands. Around 70 meters from my position. Oh. 
I'm danger close! I've seen worse. Let's go!
Let's get moving. Thank you. 